Hello and welcome back to Crazy Dove Studio. In this video, we will understand how to do a recovery of our NMC database. So before going ahead with the restore of the NMC database, first of all, we'll have to understand what exactly does the NMC database contain. So starting from version 9 onwards with the new architecture of Networker, EMC or now Dell removed the, net, uh, the user management component from the NMC server to the Networker server using uh, which is currently managed by the OTC service. So all the NMC database contains now is the uh, resources on the NMC and the configuration related to the NMC itself. It also contains all the reports that are collected by the NMC. So if in case you are looking to restore the reports <coughs> or any NMC configuration, only then you can go ahead and do or uh, plan on doing a restore of an NMC database. Otherwise, if you already have a reporting tool like let's say DPA, then you, there is no real reasons for you to go ahead and restore your NMC uh, database. So if in case you're trying to recover the users or the configuration of your integration of your networker with the uh, let's say Active Directory, then you would need to recover the auth C configuration and database which can be done using the NSRDR command. For all other uh, cases you can well go ahead and restore the NMC database. So the NMC database in Networker is of type Postgres and uh, this is the Postgres itself is bundled as part of the NMC installation. So to take a backup of the NMC database, you we usually use the, the command save PSM, which is configured on the NMC server backup. So if you have con used the wizard to configure your NMC, you might have set up the backup automatically using that wizard which which basically adds that particular uh, nmc client to the group associated with this workflow so here you will see that uh, let's quickly jump to the clients nmc server and this is the client instance that is configured to take a backup of the NMC database in the apps and mods you will see that the backup command is save psm so if you want to look at the details of save PSM, which you can do using our networker command app, you will see that it takes in uh, the NMC install directly. So now this is default. Uh, I mean, by default, it will take the uh, default location of your NMC, which is slash OPT LGT NMC. Uh, now keep in mind, the NMC install directory does not contain your NMC database. The NMC database sits within the slash NSR directory by default uh, uh, ex uh, except for if you have opted for it to be kept somewhere else during the configuration of the uh, server or the uh, NMC installation. You will also need the client name. Now all these are optional only if in case you're running it from the command line you might have to use all this and you will also see that you have something called as a staging directory at the end of this command. So the staging directory is nothing but the a folder or a location on the NMC server wherein the Postgres database can be imported. And once the uh, database is imported, then the uh, imported or dumped backup of that particular database is taken into Networker as a backup. So this can be any location. This need not be always this. So we can also make it like stage one, doesn't matter. And let's quickly take a backup of this right now. So this is gonna be pretty quick because it's a very small file. All right, we'll see that our backup is done. Let's hop on to our backup server, which is this and let's do a mm info for the NMC server here, which is the backup server itself. Uh, and you will see that the backup with the save set slash NSR slash NMC is what we actually require. So let's go ahead and maybe run the mm info again just to get 
the NMC database information. So here you'll see that we have a full backup that we just did a few minutes back, which is around 51 MB. And uh, we also have the other backup. So all the, the um, name of the save set will pertain to the um, the name of the folder that we had used for as a staging directory. Now, for the sake of the demo, what I am going to do is I am going to jump onto another machine and we are going to restore the backup to a, a new machine which is not the current uh, database just to allow you to understand how this can be done in case of a DR scenario. And let's hop back to our Networker Commands app and let's look at the command that we will be using for the restore which is recover PSM. Let's quickly take a look at that. All right. So looking at the command, you will see that we need the, the switches, which is basically the uh, networker server. The client name, the client name here is the source client name. Minus D destination is, now this is again optional. If in case you want to relocate the restored data to a different location than the default location of the NSR, um, of the NMC database, which is slash NSR, uh, uh, slash NMC, then you can use the minus D switch. Uh, you can use, if in case your uh, data is encrypted, you can use the fast passphrase for the AES encryption that we have. Minus T is basically a point in time. Uh, if in case you want to do a point in time restore, then you can use the minus T switch to point to a particular uh, time of backup, which you want to restore. And at the end, uh, you need the staging directory. Let's quickly go ahead and build this command. So we have, oh, and for this, you will need to be in the installation or um, the installed directory of NMC, which is basically slash OPT, LGT NMC, and in the bin directory, mainly because this is this particular path is not a part of the path variable. And that is why these binaries will not be discovered automatically. What we want to do now is we want to use recover PSM. The name of our server is NW Linux, which is also the client. We'll try to restore the latest backup and uh, let's try to use a staging directory of the same NMC. Uh, oh, sorry, NSR, NMC, and uh, NMC DB underscore stage. And okay, it's allowing us, uh, it's asking us to stop the network server. So let's, uh, I'm sorry, the GST service. So let's go ahead and do that. Oops. GST stop. Awesome. Let me clear the screen and start the restore again. So since we are not doing a redirected restore, we would also need a minus F switch in here, which is mainly required for overwriting the existing database. So let's do this. Ah, okay. So this is an important setting. So it is basically telling that the, this particular system does not have permission to recover any of the data for the networker server. So let's go ahead and add that as well. So we are going to take this and add it in remote access list. Let's save this, go back and let's redo the backup or redo the restore. So you, now you see that the restore is starting and you will see that the restore is completed already. All right, once the um, the net NMC uh, restore or the recover PSM completes successfully. So on your bin directory, you will have the binary called as NMC config. This is basically the same binary that you use to configure NMC for the very first time. So you will need to go ahead and run this again. Uh, so make sure that the services are still down before you run this. 
and uh, direct it to the same folder of the NMC database that you have just restored. Uh, in my case, it has overwritten the original location, so I'm going to leave it as is. Uh, if in case you are redirecting it to another folder, make sure that you are specifying that folder here. Uh, this folder exists, so we want to retain the same folder or database. And then we will give the name of our auth C, which is our original network server, NW Linux communication port 9094 auth c and we are going to say go ahead and start the services let's clear the screen make sure that the service is running okay let me launch the nmc now make sure that you're pointing it to the new nmc server which is 230 which is basically the the uh, the same system that we are working on right now and we say connect say continue let's put in the credentials so the credentials will be the same as the original one since the auth servers has not changed and we are using the same auth server click on login and there you have it. The configuration is already there simply because you're using the same database. You don't have to add anything. Uh, I don't have any reports configured, but let's quickly check if we have anything. Uh, let's say workflow summary. And uh, we'll take it for a week. We'll just say one week. That should work. And then we'll click on view reports. Ah, there you have it. I have a few reports. <laughs> so these are the reports from my original NMC server. And uh, these have been restored in this location as well. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below. Or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.